Hello, Peter C. Hayward here doing a constructed Soul Forge video. I have been, uh, I, I've stopped playing Draft, I got too frustrated with Dissian Brood Queen. Seal of Deepwood was annoying, but you can kind of deal with it. Dissian Brood Queen, I actually think, may be a broken card. I'll be curious to see how and if they change that. Let me just turn my brightness up over here. Doesn't affect you, but I can now see the screen better. Um, I've been promising for ages to do a video showing how I record these videos. That is coming. I don't have my, my main monitor, so it's hard to do at the moment, but as soon as I get that back, I will. But today, I'm showing off my Dozer deck. Uh, this is based on a suggestion from a podcast I listened to, which, embarrassingly, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the, in the description down below. Um, it's built around Doze the Dormant, who is a 08-012-018 defender, who, if he takes any damage without being destroyed, is replaced with a... 8 8 12 12 18 18 breakthrough aggressive guy. Uh, he's, if you can draw right, he's really good against brood queens. If you can't, he's not. Uh, but if you draw right, he is. So that's nice. Uh, I've also got in here Bin Ben. Uh, yeah, so to, to get him going, you want a bunch of static shocks and firestorms, as you can see there and there. Uh, and then this is quite an early game deck because he's got the breakthrough. I've chucked in uh, Rageborn Hellion, and because I'm using all the, the static shocks, I've chucked in Bin Ben. Uh, and then I've got an Aerial Surge, which can make all the difference and becomes a free spell later on. Three Burnout, because that just uh, levels your draws. Uh, Flame Lance, just to get that early damage through. Frost Shatter Strike, I'm not sure about at the moment. So far, the best use I've found for it is you can make a blocking Dozer do damage with it. Um, also, you know, the advantage of more breakthrough damage. Uh, your anti-bolt is just kind of your standard removal. Flame Lance to get that damage through, I think I said that. And that's all the cards. Uh, and, oh, that's right, and Everflame Phoenix. Now, this is a slot I'm not sure about. I had a few different cards in here. For ages, I had the Tempest guy, whose name I can't remember. He's one of the relatively new ones. New to me, anyway. Um, not Bin Ben. What's his name? I'll find his name, and then I'll remember what it is. He... Everflame Mystic. Nope. I did try Everflame Mystic. He was useless. Don't try Everflame Mystic. Something like that, though. Ah, Flame Break Invoker. Uh, so whenever you play a Tempest spell, he deals damage to each creature and opponent controls, and he ties in really well with the Static Shocks, and he's also good against Brood Queens, but he just wasn't reliable enough, uh, I think. I might put him back in. I haven't yet decided. Um, so, yeah, currently I've got Everflame Phoenix in there, just for that mobility and big level 1 body, uh, but I'm not 100% sure on it. I tried Korok for a while, and he was just not good enough. Master of Elements is a maybe, but I think he's just his level 1's too vanilla. Uh, I got my ass kicked by a Nawada deck the other day. I'm finding that on the queues at the moment, I'm mostly facing uh, AT decks, because just Auratec. I think maybe I'm low in the queue, which is why I'm facing them and not Dissian Brood Queen. Because this deck does okay against this in Brood Queen. It does quite well against a leveling deck as long as they keep on trying to stick to their level plan because I can just get that damage through fast enough. Uh, I'm still not amazing at playing this deck. I think it's actually a pretty good deck. I'm just not quite 100% of playing it. I'm about 70% at the moment. I'll do stuff from like five turns. I'll be later. What? Five turns later, I'll go, why did I do that? That was totally pointless. Like one time, I used a Burnout to destroy something that was quite... had quite a lot of... there. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, let's see how we go against Parusa, or maybe Par USA. Uh, going first, I want to play Bin Ben, so I can start to set up those little cool killy dudes. I haven't gone against any um, Doom Riders at all, I've not seen a single one with this deck. There we go, so now I can go Dozer, Static Shock, Uranti Bolt, or Dozer, Static Shock, Aerial Surge if I want to keep my Bin Ben moving. Uh, or I can use it on the Dozer and then attack something and then move over and kill something else quite often. We'll see. Uh, I just got a message from a friend of mine. Don't know if that even came up. Um, so, yeah, this is this is a pretty nice level 2 hand, even if he kills the Bin Ben, which would require like a... Cull the Weak does pretty well against this deck, because a lot of them are running them for anti Dissian decks. Um, the trick against Cull the Weak is just to never let your Dozer, sorry, your Dozer uh, stay as a 0 8. Only put him out when you can launch him in the same turn. Or, no, that's it. That That's the trick. 
He's so big when he's awake. So big. Uh, aerial Surge is a one-off I'm really happy with. I don't think I want any more than that, but as a one-off, it's done some nice work for me. I don't know what else to put in the deck, honestly. I've got no growth. Okay, so this is a good time for an Aerial Surge just to make his Thundersword, unless he's weird winning. But Tanimate, damn it. Um. Actually, I can, if I go, no. Oh yeah, if I go Battle, I'm trying to think, I could potentially use my Dozer to kill that Thundersword, but I think I'd rather just ignore it. And uh, just start pounding damage through. So I am going to Aerial Surge here because your anti bolt being leveled against the Thunderstorm is not the best of all possible options. And I just want to get as much damage through as quickly as I can. That's the, really the trick of the deck. Uh, I got my ass kicked the other day by a Iron Maiden deck. I've never actually encountered level 3 Iron Maiden. It came out and I was at like 80 health there at 12 health. And I just couldn't... If I'd drawn the right direct damage spells, but I just could not kill that thing. So here I'm probably going to go Dozer Static Flame Lance. Uh, I wish my Bin Ben was still around, but he ain't. It's okay. The Tanimate works pretty well against this deck because it can turn my big dozes into nothing. Um, so that's fine. So I'll Flame Lance that Thundersaur so that it dies without actually doing any damage to me. Oh no, Weirwood! Oh no! And I might just trample that Weirwood and keep on ignoring the Thundersaurs. I'm not really sure how to deal with Thundersaurs, so... Oh no, I... Oh, damn. Flame Lance doesn't kill that Thundersaur anymore. Um, okay. That's fine. So I'll go Dozer. Static Shock on the Dozer. Flame Lance on the Thundersaur. That doesn't kill him either. God, Thundersaurs are big, aren't they? I mean, I could go... Flame Lance... Static Shock, Flame Lance on the Thundersaw. Get my 8 damage through and just chuck my Dozer up against the Weirwood. That might be the play. I'm not versed this deck, so this is a new deck for me to verse. And this, this is not a tier 1 deck, I don't think Dozer is. It just doesn't have the synergy of a lot of the other decks, because uh, Green Red just don't work together that well at the moment. All the green-red allied cards... I actually made a post on Reddit about this today. All the green-red allied cards are not that good, and I was going through and being like, wow, the new allied cards are sensational. The old ones, in comparison, are just so crap. I think they're just experimenting with power level at the moment, which is uh, fine, obviously. <laughs> but it would be nice to... Uh... I think they need to lower the new ones. I think the new ones are too powerful. That is my honest take on the matter. Come on, Parusa. Oh, it's Paris A. Need to hit end turn, and then you're done. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure my play here... Is, I mean... I don't think I care about that Thundersaw. I don't think there's anything I can do about that Thundersaw, so I just really want to get the damage through before... I mean, the thund this Thundersaw. I don't care about this Thundersaw, so I can kill this one off, and set up a second Dozer, and just try to get the damage through before their Thundersaws can really do that much work. There we go. Ah uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with this, just to get as much damage through as quickly as possible, maintain my threats. Just keep on pounding the damage through, ignoring his Thundersaw. I'm pretty sure that's the play, we'll find out. Rageborn Hellion is actually pretty nice at the moment. Let's go... If I go Rageborn and then Frost Shatter the Weirwood, assuming he doesn't grow anymore. What's he wants? He wants a roar at the stage. He wants a no. He probably wants to Dissian shard the weirwood if I had to guess. Not Dissian shard. The new shard. I can't remember what it's called. Um, assuming he doesn't, I'm guessing he's going to block that dozer and then buff his other cards. That's my guess. So I'll probably chuck a rageborn down. Although a rageborn's not that not going to be that great against the deck that's leveled botanimate. Uh, Firestorm's really bad in this matchup because it just keeps on powering his thundersaurs. Probably, that's fine, I can deal with that. No, he's going to roar now, I bet. Am I correct? Is it a roar? Yes. That's fine, I get a little bit of damage through. Um, I have a new follower on Twitter, how exciting. So that Doze is going to take out that Weirwood no matter what. 
I could Rage Born over here in the corner and then just Everflame and just have mobility and just keep pounding through as much damage as quickly as I can because that Rage Born will now grow and this gives him a lot of targets to uh, focus his Botanimates on if he's going to keep on playing those. We haven't seen a second faction at all, have we? It's been all Utero so far. No, no, that was Zymus. So he could Virix Embrace that Dozer, he could Dissian Siphon it. There's a few ways he can take that out pretty easily. I'm guessing he's going to block the Rageborn with something big and snipe the Dozer somehow, that's my guess. Pretty average hand. I'll probably go Ever Flame and then either Bolt or Burnout, depending on how much I need to do that 8 damage versus 3 damage. Burnout's a great card. Trouble with the Burnout. See, I'm, I'm still. I haven't got my head around Overload yet. Am I better off now? And there's an actual question for you, the audience, to answer. Am I better off now playing the Burnout so I have fewer level 1 cards in my deck? Or playing the... I think... I probably want to play the Bolt. Okay, cool. So I want to kill that off with... It's going to be Burnout. And that's fine, because it still grows my... Oh no! Oh yeah, no, Burnout does now. Still kill it, so that's fine. Cool. I'm going to go Burnout, have a Flame Phoenix. And just keep on pounding damage too. Uh, though I now know that he does have Lightwalkers. So it's another reason not to put too much stock in Rage 1 Helium. That's okay. It's a bit of a meh hand. Uh, Frost Shadow Strike, Free Aerial Surge, and Flame Lance. I'm guessing it will be my play. Probably moving that Rage 1 over unless he gets killed this turn. The more I can just keep on growing him. Although, again, he's got Lightwalkers, so. Putting too much energy into him is probably not that much that much worth. Yeah, so I just want to move him out of the way of that Thundersaw, that's fine. We would two, I would guess at this stage, yeah. Cool. Um So I'm just gonna keep on ignoring. He's doing pretty substantial damage with his Weirwoods now, but I can't with his uh, Thundersaws, but this deck I've discovered has no way of dealing with that, so I'm just going to pound through as much damage as I can. I mean, I could delay one of them for a turn, but I'd just rather the extra damage that uh, these cards get me. I think he's got this one, because he can now disable my threats and I can't do anything about his threats. But uh, I'm so close to having him dead that if he draws badly I've got a chance. Or she. Paris A may be a she. The Soulforge community seems to be overwhelmingly male, but uh, it is always possible. Yeah, all, all, all Paris needs to do now is block those two. I can't deal with his threats, or her threats. Um, and I just have to kind of rely on hopefully getting the the damage through. That's one threat gone. At the moment, all I want to do is just pound damage through however I can. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the fact that I cannot in the slightest deal with those um, with those Thundersaws. So I'm going to Flame Lance the Oozling and play an Ever Flame in the other empty lane. I think he's got this just purely on the numbers, but if I draw like double burnout next time I might have a chance. No. He's got this. So, uh, the weakness, big weakness of this deck that's become obvious now is a total lack of way of dealing with Thundersaws. <laughs> oh, look at that! Nah, he's gonna win, but if he didn't win I would have a very good chance. Because he's doing 23 damage this turn. Ah, oh, that was I feel like that was close. It might not have been close, but it felt like it was close. 
There's Dozer plus Static Shock plus Urandi Bolt on one of his. If he draws a Ferocious Roar, now he wins. Otherwise, I think I might just about have it. Not quite, but just about. Yeah, if he can buff his dudes, he wins. Otherwise, it's pretty close to a tie. Um, so what can I use to deal with Thundersaurs? I guess Botanimate? I don't really want to be Botanimating. No. That's his. It's a well played. Because, uh... I can get, what, 10 damage through. I can get 13 damage through. Yeah, that's not nearly enough. Alas, um... Oh, well. So, yeah, the play here would be this, and then this. And then this. But that's not enough to win, because I have no way of dealing with Thundersaurs. So, okay, let's have a play with the deck. I think it, it's actually... I, I didn't win that one, I realised, but that's because I have not dealt with Thundersaurs at all in this deck. Um, I think it's a pretty good deck. It's probably a solid tier 2, I'd say. What can I do to deal with Thundersaurs? I want my own Blightwalker, but they don't exist in the factions I'm playing. Because you can't do direct damage to them. I guess I'll just have to go with a... Uh, maybe Metamorphosis, because that... Oh, it's so level gated, that's the trouble. Oh, there's always Botanimate. Yeah, I'll go with Metamorphosis. Um, so I need to take something out. I didn't play Bin Ben at all that time, but that was just due to the draw. I might take your any Bolt out and put in... Metamorphosis. Um, there he is, yeah. Let's try that combo. There's nothing else I really want to take out. Maybe a Frost Shatter? Yeah, let's try that. It's tricky. I'm not that good at deck building, so I'm going to go with this lineup. I'm going to try again. Uh, and Metamorphs is my anti-Thundersaur card, because currently I have no way of dealing with that card in this deck. Which is bad, if you want a way of dealing with cards. Because it's crazy high health, 12 health is so massive. Metamorphs is, I probably won't play, and if I do it'll either be like right before the, play, the, the turn end, or um, so I can rank up one of my own creatures into a 9-9 with mobility or against Thundersaur. There's not been any other cards that have really made me go, I need a way of dealing with that. So that was, it was good to get that on camera. A card that I'm just like, yep, I got no way of killing Thundersaur. Thundersaur currently stomps all over this deck. But we'll see if that's still the case. I have no packs to open, unfortunately. I've got four tickets and a constructed coupon, so I might go constructed uh, if I can get this deck more reliably winning. Right now it's winning, I know, like, two-thirds of the time, which is nice, but also uh, a well-timed Dissian Brood Queen I just don't think there's any way of dealing with. And if I draw perfectly, I can chuck a Dozer in front of it, Static Shock its little offspring, then Static Shock the Dozer and kill the Brood Queen, but that relies on him not having a Tarsus out, and Tarsus plus Brood Queen is just such an impossibly good combination. Killian, so he's playing a speed deck, so I, sorry, he's playing long-term, so I just want to fucking get him dead as quickly as I can, which in this case would mean this combo. So I'm going to pound through damage as fast as possible. Also, who plays a Killian on the first turn? You don't get to level anything. Ah, it looks like I'm playing some Rageborn Hellion. Probably just double Rageborn, move the Everflame, unless there's something I really need to deal with. Grimgold Predator, that's an odd, odd play. Uh, let's start growing the Rage Borns. I could Static Shock Burnout, but I just don't think it's worth it. I'd rather have some freaking huge Rage Borns going. Mm. 
Nice. I love drawing the Dozer Static Shock combo. Um, especially if I can go Dozer Static Shock Battle, and then that Nexus Tactician will be dead by then unless he does something tricky, and then just kill the Grim Gaunt with a Flame Lance. Unless I really want to Frost Shadow Strike, which I can't imagine I'll really want to. I think Doze is a good one to level in this combo. Yeah, Grim Gaunt Doom Rider. This is the other one I haven't played against, so this one might also totally run me over. Oh, it's annoying. Okay, so let's battle Dozer, Static Shock, Flame with Battles. That, uh, yeah, so battle. Dozer to overwrite that. Static Shock to wake him up. Oh no! Damn it! I forgot, forgot how much they move. It's really annoying. Should have flame lanced. Nah, even that wouldn't help. Oh. It's flame lancing. God, they jump all over the place, don't they? Okay, well, that was a misplay. For like two different reasons. Um, I forgot how Grimgaunt Doom Rider worked. So I shouldn't have overwritten my guy, and I shouldn't have. Yeah, that was just a really poor play. I should have just gotten the damage through with the Dozer. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's probably cost me that game. Because I was just really dumb. Um, I got another Dozer on the go now. God, those Doom Riders get big, don't they? That's the one that people are saying will probably be buffed, just because it's it's just so large. Look at that! Like <laughs> it's an eight eleven without having done anything. Crazy. Um, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to concede that one, because uh, I fucked up, and so the Doom Rider is massive, and that's not going to be particularly interesting to watch. So, let's go again, and this time I'll remember how the cards work. I would even be okay with a rematch, I just, like, that. there's no point in finishing that one off. I've, I'd, I'd screwed that beyond reproach, that's not the word, beyond being able to do anything useful. Doom Rider is a very good card. I really, I'm really curious behind the thought process, because I just seem to release these cards that are just insanely powerful. Like, what's, what kills a Doom Rider? You have to, if a Doom Rider comes out on a turn where one of their creatures is dying, it's a 5-8 with jumping around and growing and shrinking other creatures all the time. It's just so big. Um... Set up, let's get my Bin Ben going. Bin Ben is so nice at levels 2 and 3. He's, uh, he's almost worth leveling just for the 2 and 3. But 1, he could be okay. In this case, he's going to be okay. <laughs> I'll probably go Static Static Frost Shadow, unless there's something I really need to take out with the Burnout, or there's a bunch of stuff I need to take out with the Firestorm. Necro! Hello there, level two Binden. Yeah, so I'm gonna go static, static, obviously, because this is a, this is mostly a spell deck too, which I quite like. Um, there's a lot of spells in this deck, which I enjoy very much. It's a bit of a different thing for me. I don't normally play spell-heavy decks, but it seems to work here with the Bin Ben and the Dozer and the and even the the I think the Invoker was his name. Ah, uh, so I'll double static on him and. I mean, Frost Shadow Strike's not going to do anything with the trouble. But still worth it. Let's go... We can kill that off. Uh, static. Static. Let's see where that lands. Perfect! Thank you very much. Yeah, I could have done some extra damage on that. That's okay. Actually, yeah, the play there was probably killing off the Zymus and putting 8 through with the... I want to have another spell, that's right. Well, I guess burn out on that. <laughs> on that. Uh, let's see. That literally makes no difference where I put that, because if I put it here, I'm doing 8 damage to the head. If I do put it here, I'm doing 8 damage to the head. So let's do that. 
feels like a waste, but that's okay. Um, I could have definitely played that better. I should have used the 4-4 the four, four thing on the Zymus. And then I could have had 16 damage going through, which would have been much nicer. Is Dex good in that most turns you actually do get to clear the board? I've had, uh, especially, especially, I'm not sure about... See, the Invoker was just so good at clearing the board and leaving my creatures alive, but ultimately I don't think it was worth it. Uh, so what do you see there? A Zymus and a Phoenix. So he's playing NT, which is frankly odd in the current meta. Probably got some Spite Mages around, so I don't want to put too much stock in a Rageborn Hellion. That I don't really care about. That's, that's a good play. Um, let's go Rageborn Flame Lance, I guess. A Bin Ben Flame Lance. I'm kind of feeling the Bin Ben this game. Nah, I've already got a Bin Ben. Let's go for a Rageborn. And yeah, Flame Lance is the play. Like I said, I'm not all over this deck yet. When I, when I draw right, I know exactly what to do. In cases like this, I'm just genuinely not sure what's the best play. An argument could have been made there for Rageborn Bin Ben. Ah, oh, you know it would be cool if I had a Static Shock in this hand as well. I could go Bin Ben, Static Shock... Oh no, that wouldn't work. I was going to say I could Metamorphosis one of my Lightning Elementals, but they only appear after the second spell. Okay, if I had two Static Shocks, or if I had a Bin Ben already on the board, doesn't matter. It's nonsense. What do you got, boy? Old girl. I'm going to refer to them based on the gender of their avatar, and that way I'll feel less sexist. How did this move over so that I'm covering the screen? Sorry about that, everyone. This was not like that when I set it up. Of course, now I've moved it out of frame, so let's put that back in the middle. This video is a disaster. What was that Epidemic? Yes. Epidemic Zymus, pretty nice. Um, thinking Rageborn against that Dark Shaper. And then Bin Ben, I guess. So I might go Rageborn unblocked and then Bin Ben, because I don't care about Bin Ben that much. Yeah, okay, this, this game's a disaster. Uh, this has not been a great video for showing off the deck. This deck is a lot better than I'm playing it, I promise you. Uh, but this has been just nonsense so far. I think this deck's better than I've been playing it. Maybe it's not. And this is the exact quality of the deck. Probably Dozer Static uh, Flame Lance 1 here. Just to get my Dozers going. Yeah, this is the Shambles. I'm sorry, this deck, this, this whole video is a mess. It's been nonsense, but uh, people have been asking me to get back into Constructed, so this is me doing exactly that. Ooh, Scary Zrath time. Let's... Hmm. I'm really tempted to concede. I think I've fucked this whole one up again. Um, oh, let's just start pounding through some damage however we dang can. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I might have. I don't know. I think I've. I think I've just done too many nonsense things this game. Frost Chatter levels so nicely. Seven and then eleven. That's beautiful. If my Doze is still awake, which I sincerely hope he is, I can Frost Chatter onto him and just do a buttload of damage and grow my other Rageborn, which I'll have played at that point. Uh, the only reason he wouldn't be is if he checks a Blight Walker in front of him, or maybe Cersei, Dreadbolt, Epidemic 2, and then basically anything would kill him. Epidemic 2 would be really nice for him right now, actually. Um, I will make another video showing off my Dozer deck a little bit better than this crazy nonsense video has so far, though I'm doing okay this game. I just don't think I'm going to get this. Especially because he didn't level up any Blight Walkers there, did he? We have Everflame, Zymus, Epidemic, Zerath's Will, Shaper, Epidemic, Zymus, Zerath, Zerath. 
Nothing so far. So no Black Walkers, which means my Rageborn 2 is pretty safe. Zymus I'm not too worried about, because if he gets the Zymus 3 out, he wins anyway. There we go, that's how he kills that off. And that, that's fine. I think I care about his Wrath enough to, to kill it. There's no point in the in the frost shatter. I hate it when you have a frost shatter and there's no point to it. It does nothing at the moment. Nothing. I mean, I could go Rageborn, Everflame, and have the Everflame take both of them out, but then he can just pretty easily Epidemic me, so never mind. I wish my Dozer was still alive. I miss him. Yeah, I think he's got this one. Um, very slowly he got this one. I will do another Dozer deck. Uh, and just play less ridiculously badly. That's my plan. Being all over the shop here. If there were any way of like getting six static shocks in the deck, I would. Oh, god, static shock is good in this deck. Um, this is probably just going to be a. Maybe Aerial Surge, if I really want to move the Rage Horn over, but I can't really imagine it. I'm expecting a level 2 Epidemic, because he played a bunch of those. Maybe his other Zymus, which would be annoying. Probably Burnouts will play at this stage. Unless I can get some amazing use out of my Metamorphosis. Now, I think the Metamorphosis is really just in there for Thundersaw. I don't think I'll be playing it much in other matchups. Okay, after this game I'm going to play one more, and I'm going to play it well. That's my that's my aim, to have one decent game in this video. I don't think I've even won yet, have I? It's been a disaster. Because um, this is, I promise, a better deck than it looks like. Or maybe I've just been winning because I've been low in the queue, and now I'm high enough in the queue that I'm losing a lot, but we'll find out. Baywing Tristles. Baywing. It's a dragon. Come on, Necro. I don't really know what the play is here. It's a pretty underwhelming hand. Yeah. I'm going to guess I'm going to go Aerial Surge Burnout, because that seems to be the most logical plays here. But if he plays... I don't know. If he plays, like... Fido Bomb and Firestorm, I guess. <laughs> Tarsus Fido Bomb, that's what he wants to play ideally there. It's an interesting place, but the Zymus, I guess, at this point, he just. Uh... Ooh, Firestorm would take that out, but. Do I get another turn to get to kill that? Yes. Let's, let's assume I get to kill that. Lands in front of my Rageborn. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure about that play. Oh, nice! Bin Ben, Static Shock, Firestorm. I really can't see another play here. Bin Ben uh, in an empty lane, or opposing that Everflame Phoenix maybe. Static Shock onto the Zymus, and then Firestorm takes out both the Everflame Phoenix and the Zymus. Plus I get two, I think there's seven five at level two. They're really nice, they just get big. Seven five, I get two of them to just do some damage to the head. Because I am actually quite ahead on life at the moment. So I don't really care about his Zymus that much. In level three Zymus, I'll probably be able to kill just based on how much killing stuff there is in this deck. So yeah, I'm happy I get to take out that Everflame. Happy I'm get to take out that Zymus for free, and then I get a bin bin, and I get potentially up to 14 damage through, depending on what he plays where. He's probably going to do something about that Hellion. If he can't, that Hellion will grow quite a lot in the next uh, turn or two. But he, he'll obviously be able to kill that Hellion. You want to kill the, the growing creature. 
Man, I remember when I first started playing, there's probably videos of this, just me going against Heli Index and just getting so frustrated and just being like, how can anyone kill this card? I'm glad that I've found a use for it uh, in a deck that clearly isn't working at the moment, but um, it's a fun deck to play. I really enjoy this deck. I really like it when Necro takes his time on turns. Yeah, it's a good hand. Oh, okay, he only just got off Defender, so it probably lag as much as anything. That's fine, I totally survived that. Although, my own uh, Firestorm's going to kill it now. That's okay. And I can live with losing my Rageborn in exchange for getting to do some cool shit. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't do the math there! <laughs> Killed off my own thing? That's okay, I did get to kill him, but in a very stupid way. I should have attacked first. If I'd attacked first, I would have taken extra 10 damage, but got an extra 7 damage through. Oh well. Um... Probably... I mean... If there's a target for Metamorphosis, I might do it just to get that second lot of 14 damage through. Yeah. Pretty sure he's got this one. Going to level 3 where he's got... Is it two Zymus? No, just the one level 3 Zymus on the way. Which I can sort of deal with. It's not the end of the world, but... Uh, Dozer might be a more sensible play here. Dozer Flame Lance. Just to try to... Yeah, I'll probably keep bodies on the board. Is probably the, the move here. Especially if I have a Dozer out in the next turn. If I draw a level 3 Bin Ben and a Static Shock, I can wake him and get the... They're huge. They get really big. 11, 8. Three of those? No, two of those. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Into each of your available spaces. So yeah, a bunch of them get to come out. Bin Ben 3 is so nice. That's probably going to be, yeah, getting a dozer on the board is... Although he's playing a lot of zombies, so we mean he has a target for Zerath's Will. Did he play to Zerath's Will, in fact? Yes, he did. Epidemic and then Zerath's Will. So leaving a, a dozer on the board is pretty dangerous, but frankly, I don't know much else I can do, unless there's a really good target for Metamorphosis. Does it get turned into a... Uh, oh, well, there we go, there's his Wrath's Will. There's his... Uh, zero three. Where's it gone? <laughs> he has a creature, but it's not showing up because of a weird bug. There it is. Um, okay, look, in that case I'm just going to go Dozer Flame Lance. Uh, I don't see any kind of other sensible play there. Should have probably put those are more central, so that if I get that free aerial surge, I could move them anywhere, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on this deck yet. There we go, Static Shock. Static Shock into nothing. Just Static Shock for funsies. And then a Rageborn. As long as he can kill that dozer, which with Zerath's will he can, or that's about it, I think. Yeah. Static, static, rageborn. I do not see a better play. What is that, like a, a bull creature? Oh, god. Oh, there's one target for my Static Shock, anyway. Yeah, okay, there's no point in Static Shocking the Dozer, because he's going to do zero damage to the Zerath. Um, yeah, I don't really see any way of winning this from here. Okay, wait, 4 plus 8 is 12, still not there. Let's just start killing shit. This one's yours, Necro. My deck fails again. <laughs> um, sorry, deck. I tried to make you good, and I clearly did not manage. What did I do there? Static Shock, Aerial Surge, Flame Lance, Frost Shatter, probably. Or Bolt. Maybe Bolt's gonna... <laughs> 
this is a point where I'm actually tempted to concede. If I wasn't making a video, I'd concede at this stage, uh, but I already did that once. That was a good target for the Static Shock. Is it? Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing I can do here. I'm just gonna, just gonna put through tiny amounts of damage. Um, okay, let's see. Static Shock into Uranti Bolt kills him once. No, I mean... I'm taking a bit of a defeatist attitude at the moment, but it really doesn't matter what I do. I'm, I'm fucked in a lot. Pardon my language. Um, let's just try to get as much damage through as possible. Which would actually mean using a Flame Lance. I'm going to do one more after this. This one will be over very soon, as you can see. Just to show that this deck can do okay. Hopefully. Maybe it can't. Maybe I've just been insanely lucky every game up until now. But yeah, I should just concede. I'm just going to concede. There's nothing I can do at this stage. Uh, well done, Necro. I thought I'd play it out for the video, but it's clearly not going to be interesting to watch me just like lose to zombies. Um, let's go one more time. Dozer deck. Let's see if I can get one win in this video with a deck that I was actually really proud of when I started the video and now I'm less confident in it. It might just not be a deck that works and that's fine. It's fun to play. Uh, I'm gonna go Bin Ben Dozer here. What was that? Forge Guardian Delta, okay. If I can't beat a Forge Guardian Delta deck, that's when you know the deck is broken. That's the point where you're like, yes, definitely not a deck that works. <laughs> Just gonna ignore that, I think. See, Dozer in front of it means that if you can buff it at all, my Dozer just does nothing instead of trading, instead of actually killing it. So it's, it's much better to... Uh... What have we got here? I was kind of hoping for a Static Shock at this stage. It's okay. It's okay, this is doable. This is doable. Um, maybe your Ranty Bolt onto the Dozer. Frost, satis frost Shutter Strike. Ooh, what does that mean in this context? Is he going to shrink the dozer? If he does, that would be weird. It means, it means that my card doesn't work anymore, but like... That's just due to luck, not skill. Because like, a static, a static shock would do the exact same thing. He'd be better off uh, targeting the bin then. Oh well, um... Everflame, I guess? I'm really at a loss of what to do here. Okay, clearly I don't know this deck and it's crap. We've learned that. That is now confirmed. Deck doesn't work. Also, Peter not good at playing it. We're all on the same page here. I was totally wrong about this being a half-decent deck and I'm sorry. Um, Metamorphosis, the Zillion Dire Hound gives me a decent chance at getting my Dozer up and running. And then Frost, Frost Shutter Strike does nothing. Your anti Bolt delays the Delta, which is pretty good. So your anti bolt bolt levels pretty nicely, and if my if I get yeah your anti bolt and then if I get my lightning elemental in lane three it kills it. Hey, look at that! That's what I wanted. Huzzah! Now please give me a freaking static shock. <laughs> Thank you. Also, don't kill my dozer. Uh, Hydroclasm, please. Please do not kill my dozer. Static Shock, Flame Lance, and then either Firestorm or Burnout, depending on what I'm facing. I'm not too concerned about the Fey Wing, because my Dozer will just stomp all over it. Alpha I don't give a shit about. Delta, I'll just burn out, I think. I 
By the way, yeah, I'm just gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn it. I decided it's burning. Although I do want to kill that alpha quite a lot, don't I? Nah, look, I'll take the chance. If I go Flame Lance on the Delta and then Firestorm. Yeah, there we go there. Means my Dozer takes a little bit of damage, but. I can also now take out that Alpha with almost any card. Or with a uh, little Elemental from Bin Ben. Nice! Okay, I'm going to Dozer, Static Shock, and then probably Everflame Phoenix. I'm very happy with that draw. <laughs> I'm getting really frustrated at myself more than anything. This is not... Ooh. Dozer, Static Shock... Or actually, I don't... I can Static Shock something in particular. And then just use Firestorm to take out the, uh, the Dozer. Let's do one damage, see how that adds up. What's that? You wanted to get use out of your Synapses Oracle? You cannot, and also it is dead. And didn't really do anything to my Dozer. Cool. I was happy with that turn. Let's go Bin Ben. And then probably Frost Status Strike. I'm hoping that my Dozer will still be alive. Maybe, maybe Rageborn. Ooh. Ah, damn. I did do that math, but I was like, it probably won't happen. It's not worth worrying about. I had Ferocious Roar in this deck for a while, and I just never used it. Never played it. Um, let's go for a Rage Bomb. Let's just get some dudes going. Now what I would ideally like here is a Dozer level 2, a Static Shock, and a... Nope. Okay. Not happening. Never mind. My wish list did not come true, so I'm not going to bother talking about it. That's annoying. Annoying. What do you make? Seven? Seven five. Yeah. Two seven fives. I'm not doing particularly well here, am I? Those Forge Guardians are huge. Ah, the thing is his deck, and I forgot about that until the second, his deck gets less and less consistent because it's so big. Let's see. Do I want to trigger off Bin Ben? Pretty sure I do. Really feel like that's the play. So let's go Flame Lance here so they trade off. If I go Frost Shatter Strike, then I have a chance of a uh, an elemental appearing here, and killing that off, and I get to do more damage to the alpha. Oh, that's okay. Because I get to do more direct damage, which I'm also pretty happy with. Metamorphosis is not an awful play, but I don't really see the advantage. Everflame Phoenix against that Delta seems like the obvious play here. What's the other faction? It's, it's purple, isn't it? With the Zivian Die Hand. Um, he wants to get a Gamma now. Let's play Gamma in, in lane, uh, lane 5. Yep, there it is. That's okay. I'll just uh, kill it. Let's kill that Gamma. Definitely do not want to um, metamorphose it. Metamorphoses it. That's fine. He's presumably got jetpacks in there because of the alphas, but uh, we'll find out. Dozer! I get to have my Dozer. You can kill off that Guardian Beta. Which is Firestorm 2, it's 5, isn't it? Or it crashes the whole app. Uh, I don't think Firestorm's going to do much for me here, actually. Uh, currently, I'm losing to a Delta deck, so clearly my deck's not as good as I thought it was. I must just must mean really low on the queue. It does pretty well against Dissy and Brood Queen. I think that's what I was expecting to face. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I just maybe it's just a bad one. Uh, let's see. Double Firestorm is 10 damage to everyone. Should wipe out everything but that Oracle. But because we're in, he just started level three, so I'm not too concerned about the Oracle. Might be the best play. 
Oh, actually, if I go Dozer, Static Shock with Gox, and then Firestorm, I wake up my Dozer, kill the beta, and do some damage to everyone else. Yeah. I just don't want him to draw into a good hand, basically. And I get to do some damage. That's pretty nice. Next, I level my Dozer and my. Yeah, I'm happy with that turn. Um, this turn less so. Probably go Bin Ben and then your anti. Oh god, that's right. <laughs> Probably chump block with a Bin Ben and your anti bolt that snaps this oracle. I forgot how big Beta's got as well. And Delta is just huge. Such a huge card. Well, this has been a video of Peter discovering that his deck that he thought was good clearly doesn't work, or he's just really bad at playing it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed me losing four games, five games, I don't even know. Um, let's block him because I'll actually do some damage to him at least. Even my fucking Dozers, which is the biggest card in the deck, can't do anything against that beta, so... Should probably... yeah, no, nah, this is... It's been an utter disaster, I'm sorry! I did try, I did try to win, I obviously failed. So that's 6, 13 damage, I can do that Forge Guardian beta. I can kill it, but to what end? Again, this is the point where I just concede. Uh, maybe I've been in my personal play, been like losing and just being like, oh, I'll just concede this. And uh, fuck, this has been a disaster. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a good deck. I really did. It's just not. It just doesn't work in any way. Um, okay, if I was playing to not die, I would go Static Shock. Static Shock, Flame Lamp, I mean, this, I still die. This doesn't even stop me from dying. Um, what a disaster. Oh my god. I thought I was good at this game. I'm just clearly not. Oh god. <laughs> this deck sucks. I suck at this game. I'm not going to construct it. Okay, let's fix this deck. I'm going to get you guys to, uh, to fix the deck for me, please. Um, it's obviously awful. I didn't know that going in. I learned something today. I learned how awful this deck is. Here's the deck list again for, uh, for a reminder. An Aerial Surge, three Bin Bens, three Burnouts, three Dozers, three Everflame Phoenixes. That's the card I'm least sure about. Three Firestorms, three Flame Lancers, three Frost Shatter Strikes. That's the card I'm not sure about. Metamorphosis is obviously a new edition. Not sure about it. Rageborn Hellion. Apparently these are all just awful cards. Three Static Shocks and a Uranti Bolt. Um, let me know how I can make this deck suck less. I really want to play another one. I'd be like, no, it can win, but I've done that like four times and it just hasn't won. I have to accept the fact this deck doesn't win. It's crap. I'm crap. I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time. I hope you've enjoyed. I've been Peter. Uh, accidentally turning on the music, it seems. Um, whew, what a disaster. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I'll never, uh, I'll never think this, I'll never think I've got a good deck again. Peter out.